Pride. Thanks a lot, Liz. Well, it is almost that time, folks. We're talking about National Pancake Day. Yes, we are. Since beginning its National Pancake Day in 2006, IHOP has raised $13 million to support charities in the community. That's right. And the money raised here will benefit the Shriners Hospital for Children. Here to tell us more is Daryl Wilson, potentate of the Balut Abiyad Shriners. Did I get it right, Daryl? Yes, right on the Bam! <laughs> there we go. Also with us is uh, seven-year-old Alina Thomas, a Shriner child, and her dad, Tristan Thomas. Guys, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you Getting for up having bright me. and early to be on style. So let's talk about National Pancake Day. I mean, we honestly, I could spend an hour talking about pancakes. I but, love pancakes. Yeah. So tell us what <laughs> National Pancake Day is. Well, on March the 4th, which is next Tuesday, we have a National Pancake Day where the, all the pancakes are free. Wow. Free. At all the that. IHOPs in the state. Okay. So in any of the IHOPs? Any of the IHOPs. Okay. And who benefits from National Pancake Day? It's through the uh, Shriners, through the Shrine Hospitals, which mm -hmm. we have 22 hospitals across the country. Mm -hmm. All right, 22. And, and there's there includes and these also four burn hospitals. Oh, really? Okay. okay. Now, these, these hospitals do really great things for kids. Um, and uh, I'm wondering if you can talk a little bit about the Shriners Hospital and some of the treatments and uh, facilities that they offer for kids in need. Well, there's a whole list of items that you're talking about that people or kids need operations for. Mm -hmm. Mostly all crippled children, mm -hmm. children that are born with deformities, mm -hmm. children that are burned in like we had here in New Mexico about four years ago, a girl was burned in a trailer. Yeah. And she was rushed to the hospital and then flown to Galveston mm -hmm. for treatment. Yeah. And that's who benefits. We have 600 kids in New Mexico in the system at this time. Mm -hmm. And so it's no cost to the parents mm -hmm. for awesome. travel or for expenses. If they have insurance and they want us to use the insurance, okay. If not, mm -hmm. The operations and everything, all the other treatments free. That's great. Yeah, it is. And what is your goal, for your fundraising goal this year? Fundraising goal for New Mexico is to raise at least $30,000. Do you guys usually hit your goal? Yes. That's great. Awesome. That's great. So uh, I'm, I'm wondering if you guys can talk about your experience. You've been at the, the Shriners Hospital. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, just, just tell us uh, a little bit about, you, we, you know, not going into details why you were there or whatnot, but the experience of it and why it is so important for people to support this organization. Okay. Well, I, you know, I know we could go on and on. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, my daughter, uh, Allie, has, has, over the last four years, had 11 surgeries. Wow. Completely paid for. Um, she, when we uh, adopted her from China, she had multiple uh, deformities in her leg, her fingers. Uh, and, and the Shriners organization has just been amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, the doctors are amazing, the nurses are amazing, everyone here is amazing. Um, truly have been a blessing to us. Yeah. Um, she is, she's now able to do things that we never thought she would be able to do, like cutting with scissors. She's, yeah. you know, running faster than all her classmates. Mm -hmm. She really has been amazing, and it's, it's directly a result of, of people donating to the uh, Shriners organization. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's really important, you know, speaking, you know, Brittany and I are both parents, mm -hmm. When, when your child needs attention, medical attention, yeah. I, there, there's nothing in the world that you would not do to make sure that they get what they need. The reality, of course, is that operations like these are expensive. They're incredibly <laughs> yes. expensive. And really, I mean, the, the average family can't afford those things. But again, doesn't matter. When your kid needs it, you're, you're going to yeah. do whatever exactly. it takes to get it. Exactly. So uh, really important to, to support this organization, I think. Um, and what better way to do it than National Pancake Day? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, all the pancakes you can eat. And of course, yeah. <laughs> you're talking about we'll uh, filling up with syrup mm -hmm. and getting all the sweetness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the one thing is with the doctors, our doctors are first class. Mm -hmm. They specialize in orthopedic surgery. Mm -hmm. Which is so important when you're dealing with kids. Like, you want the best doctor if it's oh, your yeah. child. And a lot of the hospitals call on this. Some of the hospitals even here locally refer their patients over to us mm -hmm. because they're not capable of handling yeah. some of the disease or some of the deformities yeah. that occur or accidents. Well, let's share with our viewers a little bit, um, so get the details on National Pancake Day yeah. so we can all participate there. You see folks, yeah. IHOP restaurants in the Albuquerque area, Tuesday, March 4th from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. all day. It's not even like, yeah. like just for breakfast. You can go in all at right. like 4 in the afternoon. 
Which I guess is, I don't know, Brittany, maybe do you I like? I will eat pancakes <laughs> at any hour. <laughs> we'll go in and hit it up. Especially for this. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for being part of our show. Yeah. Pleasure to Say meet you, sweetheart. You. <laughs> thank you. And for more information, you can visit our website at casa.com. Just click on the style blog. All right. With